welcome to One Petite Street. Today we're uh, we're going to continue to work on the uh, the actual room that the uh, study Sam study will be in. And what we're going to be doing today is putting in the floor. Now we're not going to put it in permanently because we have work to do underneath it. But we're going to be putting the floor in and. Um, um, there's going to be, I'm going to be making a choice. You want to see what that is between uh, the floor pattern, uh, which is um, uh, it's a green and white checkerboard pattern, or a pattern that I found, which is wood grain, and just see which one might look better and which one you would choose and which one I chose. So let's get right to work on that. However, before we do, I want to ask you to uh, subscribe if you have just come across the channel and, and think it's something you'd like to visit once in a while and learn something about uh, doll houses and miniatures. And uh, also, if you like it, Click that like button, make comments, I enjoy those, and uh, so, and if you want to get in contact directly, it's at onepetitestreet at gmail.com, otherwise, uh, you can just uh, comment down below, and, and that'd be great too. So, let's get at it, and put the floor in, not permanently, but we'll be putting it in, and doing the things we need to to put the floor in. So there we have the walls and the and the frame for the floor painted and and finished. Um, so next will be to be putting into the floor plate and some wiring and the light and the the top uh, or the ceiling. So um, I looked up uh, dollhouse floors and found this on the uh, computer and printed it off so we'll have a different kind of floor and so we um, will outline our the floor we'll do this on the bottom of it so and then we're going to cut out the floor. There we go. And we'll cut that out. A pair of scissors. Be right back. So I'm cutting out the, uh, the pattern that I got off of the computer. And I'm going to cut it to fit on the board here uh, so that this will become uh, the floor rather than this green checkerboard. We'll see how that works. Uh, so we'll cut that out now. So this Kind of, I just put it together to see a little bit of how that will look, and I kind of like that. Uh, we'll try it with the furniture, and see how that looks. Oops. So now we have the um, support for the floor, and the floor goes like this. This and therefore there's a space under there where uh, a battery will go to uh, take care of the lights but now we have to and we're not going to be gluing this down but now we have to choose um, what our floor will be we have two choices i've already made a choice but i'll show you the two choices that were possible. 
one is the one that came with the kit and it would be this one like this but it's a, a study it's not a, a restaurant <laughs> and so I chose to put in a floor more conducive to a study and um, we'll be gluing this to the board that will be the, the floor but we will not be gluing uh, the board down because we need to do some work underneath the floor before we do that so that's my choice for the floor and so We'll be setting that in there and showing what it looks like. So this is what it will look like. And we have um, a couple more pieces that will go in. So that some of the parts there will not show then. We have a piece that goes in here and one that goes in here that will um, cover up the edges there uh, when we get to that point. But we're not there yet because we have some things to do in under the floor. But I thought it might look good to see what it will look like with that floor covering and with the uh, furniture in it so we'll put do that and show you what it looks like so there's what it will look like with the uh, the wood floor that i have chosen and um, i chose it over a checkerboard green and white checkerboard pattern so I think this looks more like what you'd find in somebody's study so that really completes what we plan to do today well <clears throat> did you uh figure I think it was kind of easy to guess which of the two um, um, floor surfaces I would choose and uh, of course it was a hardwood floor uh, which I was able to find some on a computer by looking up uh, dollhouse floors and uh, there it was and so I think it works out real well and uh, I like it I, this is the way it kind of looks right now we're going to be um, doing some other work whoops be, be uh, below the floor which we're going to be doing some wiring and uh, as we put the ceiling in and the light over top so that's uh, kind of what we're going to be working on next time and uh, you know um, we're fortunate that um, we can have uh, opinions like uh, do I use the um, do I use a polka dot floor or do I use a checkerboard floor or do I use a hardwood floor um, there are other things that are more difficult for people to talk about and make decisions but as long as we uh, as long as we treat each other uh, with respect we can talk about a lot of different things maybe even comes to agreements about things that we might not have agreed about before so uh, until next time uh, be good to yourself and be good to others and that'll make a lot of difference 
in our ability to agree or deal with disagreement. See you then.